natural world is under attack. Changes in land and sea use, pollution, direct exploitation of natural resources, climate change. Now more than ever, we need to speak up and speak out for wildlife. Perhaps you feel powerless. Maybe you believe what you say or do won't make a difference. You're wrong. One voice can be mighty. In 2019, thousands of individuals saved the Bacton Sand Martins. In 2021, we're still getting nets down for nature. Local councils, businesses and developers are hearing the message, but we need to make them listen. We will be relentless. In 1889, Emily Williamson didn't have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or broadcast media to share her message and present her arguments. Emily tea and caked her target audience. One woman used her voice to persuade the nation that feathers belonged on birds, not on people's heads. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been for Emily and her mostly female followers to be taken seriously by 19th century movers and shakers. Our Save the Bacton Sand Martins campaign garnered international attention, embarrassed my local council, and within a few weeks achieved nets down for nature at the Bacton Sandscaping Project. It took Emily and the Society for the Protection of Birds, later to become the RSPB, 32 years to achieve their goal with the passage of the Importation of Plumage Prohibition Act in 1921. I'm proud to stand with Emily Williamson a century later and celebrate her achievements. We must be vigilant, relentless, knock down the defences, tear apart the arguments, win hearts and minds. One voice becomes many, too loud to be ignored. If you think wild lives matter, please use your voice. Remember Emily Williamson. The world is listening. Mm -hmm.